Hi, so let us see why Facebook uses Hive. So Hive actually is born at Facebook. Initially, Facebook data processing infrastructure was built around a data warehouse built using a commercial relational database. The data it was generating was very fast. It grew from 15 terabytes to 2 petabytes. There was a huge challenge as there were millions of users who were uploading millions of photos and sharing billions of content. So there was an urgent requirement of infrastructure that could scale along with data. So they started using Hadoop. Now Hadoop was not easy for end users because to process inside Hadoop you need to use MapReduce. And the end users were not familiar with MapReduce. Writing Java code every time was not easy. Sometimes they had to write MapReduce program for even simple tasks like getting row counts or averages. So they found a solution and came up with a tool called Hive to analyze data more productively and efficiently. So Hive is more like SQL and as people are more familiar with SQL, this became quite easy and popular tool. So Hive was born out of desire to analyze data easily and efficiently. So we can say that Hive is a data warehouse infrastructure tool to process structured data in Hadoop. It makes Hadoop quite easy analyzing huge amount of data which was really difficult earlier because we had to use Java MapReduce program and not everybody is familiar with Java. It's made quite easy using Hive. And more pe people are familiar with SQL. So it's quite an easy way to process the data. Hive makes querying and analyzing data really very easy. So it was created by Facebook and now it's a top level project under Apache. Some of the Hive features. What is Hive? So it supports SQL like language called HiveQL as we discussed. So Hive provides a SQL like language and called HiveQL. It's very similar to SQL. And there's some differences also which we'll see later. And its SQL-like characteristic has made it quite popular because most people like business users, data scientists, they don't know Java. For them, SQL is quite easy. So it enables to provide custom mappers and reducers. So whenever you run a hype command, it gets converted into map reduce at the back. So users can also plug in their own custom mappers and reducers in the data stream in Hive. Data warehouse infrastructure in Hive. So you can create databases, create tables and create views. You can then access and this query this data. It supports to enable ETL tools. So Hive can be used as an alternative to traditional ETL tools. You can extract the data from website, load it and then transform it using Hive very easily. In next section we will be talking about Hive architecture.